Hello everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a genie vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, I will be reacting to Jeremy Clarkson tracks down new owner of his family's business from Who Do You Think You Are? This is, I believe, the last part of the clips of the episode for Jeremy Clarkson, and I think this is probably going to be straightforward. He's going to finally meet the guy who is living in Cheshire, who uh, owns his family's trademark or patent or whatever it was. I think it was a trademark. Um, so we found out the business seemed to have gone under in 1937, I think it was, um, because his great-great-grandfather's son, George, who may be his great-grandfather, they didn't say yes or no, um, his great-great-grandfather, or Caleb's son, George, he was the one who uh, the, the business went under uh, when he was running it. So um, we'll have to see. They, they still The one thing that I found interesting about this episode of Who Do You Think You Are is while they are talking genealogy and family history more specifically, they haven't really actually shown exactly how Jeremy Clarkson is related to them. We know it's his mother's mother. And then we know his second great grandfather is uh, this Caleb um, Kilner. But then we don't know who his great grandfather is. So what's that connection between his grandmother and the second great grandfather? So maybe they'll say that. Maybe we missed it. I'm not quite sure. If I missed it, comment down below. Um, but before we jump into the video, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. Really does help me out in the algorithm. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. And if you want to get early access to videos as well as extra content that's not available through my YouTube, become a patron on Patreon. But now with all of that fun stuff said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. What flat number was it? Six. Six. Anthony Enfield. That'd be pretty funny to get a ring. Hey, it's Jeremy Clarkson. I'm here because you have my family's patent. Give it back. Hi there. Um, we're from BBC TV. Thanks. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah, hi. How are you? Very good. Good. I wasn't expecting you. I found <laughs> the other day when I went to the um, British Library... Right. That you have the train, the, the, what's it called, the trademark, isn't it? That's right. You yes. own the trademark to the kill in the jar. I do, yes. You've got it. I have it now on behalf of uh, the company. Your company. Yes. And you're not doing anything with it. Uh, which one, the Kilner brand? Mm. Oh, no, we are, yes. You yes, are? Oh, yes, very much so. What are you yes. doing? We are uh, selling the kill in the jars. You're kidding? We are indeed. I'm proud of this fine old British name. Since the Kilners closed down in 1937, the Kilner brand has been owned by a succession of different glass companies. So you do, Ravenhead. Ravenhead. And you bought the Ravenhead name as we well. We bought the Ravenhead name along with all its trademarks, which included the famous Kilner brand. I just assumed you'd been a sort of chap who'd sort of own a load of names, and then if somebody came along and said, look, we fancy doing this, you'd flog the name on. No, 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 we sell these to all the independent cook shops throughout the UK and Ireland. You see, when we began this programme, I thought that was, I thought this was a kill in the jar, you know, if I right. something yeah, same. Same. at home. So I thought, yeah, that's a kill in the jar. Right. But as it turned out, in the course of learning it, the, the, the kill, yeah, that. that no, the, the evil purpose. It's a sad story for British industry, but it's, a, it's sort of a, a good ending for Kilner, really, though. During its 100-year history, the Kilner Jar has changed beyond recognition. But the name, at least, lives on as a reminder of the Kilner's place in Britain's industrial past. William Clarkson, Thomas Clarkson, Sarah Edward Clarkson. Clarkson. Sarah Clarkson. Yeah, you have to come down this way. And that's Grandad. And those are his parents. Yeah. So that's confusing. his mother's. His mother's parents and then you go all the way back and we found out that this one he died in 1857 so he's your great 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 grandfather he invented 
<laughs> I've seen that face before. That's a face of somebody who's like, okay, I'm going to entertain this person who's telling me, but I really don't care that much about this information. I have seen that face so many times on all of my relatives' faces, on my parents, on my sisters, on my cousins, on my aunts and uncle. Like, I, I've talked to all so many. Now, some of them get really interested, and especially if you can find the thing that, like, will really hook somebody, you know, because sometimes people are really inter interested in how our family history is connected to royalty, or how is the family history connected to politics, or how is it connected to different famous people in whatever way. Um, or just, you know, interesting things that people did, like Jeremy Clarkson in the first episode said, engineers. But most of the time, it's that face. It's that face that you get of like, okay, yeah, I got it. Cool. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> so, so used to that. Something. What? He invented a special type of bottle. Okay. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Something. What? He invented... He died in 1857, so he's your great, 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 great grandfather. Got it. Yeah. He invented something. What? That he intrigued her. Special type of bottle. That part intrigued her. Interesting. Plastic bottle? No. No what? plastic. Shall I show you? Yeah. He got the hook. He hooked. He hooked her. But how? What's the connection between his grandmother and Caleb Kilner? Is it George Kilner? They didn't say. I've got to assume it's George Kilner. I've got to assume. Oh, was that Jeremy Clarkson Young? Wow. So that's that's not Jeremy Clarkson Young, but that's one of the Kilners. And then there's, I assume that must be Jeremy Clarkson. That's pretty, pretty similar. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. So, yeah, that was the end of the episode. So, uh, that was really cool. Um, the guy who owns it <laughs> was really excited to see Jeremy Clarkson. I bet he, you know, he was he's probably a fan of Jeremy Clarkson. And then to find out that you own, you know, the family patent and he's researching it and stuff. So, like, that guy, he must have been over the moon about that. That, that was really cool. Um, you know, I do wish they had maybe gone into some of the genealogy more, maybe gone into his father's side too, um, other than just having a clip of him running around a cemetery. But I will say the Kilner story, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting story. And it's a great story in terms of showing, uh, you know, industrial history as well as, um, you know, 19th century British history. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. You can also click right about here if you would like to subscribe. It is completely free to do that. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.